If you choose to work in a challenging school, it could quite be the end of your career. My name's Ross from Teacher Toolkit, and this video explains why I left teaching after 25 years. There are two key reasons why I chose to leave teaching. Number one, as a deputy head teacher working 60 hour weeks to the, be then told that your work is still not good enough, something had to give. The other side of this is also as teacher toolkit, having blogged for 10 years and now with a quarter of a million followers, trying to meet that demand, trying to reply to everyone and help other people also made that a full time job on top of the day job. What if Ofsted outcomes were unreliable? What if good teachers not only came to the profession, but chose to work in a disadvantaged school? It is my belief that the Ofsted inspection in its current framework does not recognise schools working in different contexts. And here lies the problem. Choose to work in a challenging school in a difficult circumstance and it could come back to haunt you. And in my last 10 years, that's happened to me twice in a school leadership position. What happens on the ground is if Ofsted say they're looking for certain things, then as a school leader, you will jump through those hoops to not only ensure good outcomes for your students, but to protect your own livelihood. We need to get to a place where the inspection regime looks at those teachers who choose to work in a tough school to get the best for their kids, but aren't penalised personally. If only 19% of 1,500 parents who are surveyed only read the full report, why do we as teachers get so obsessed with them ourselves or put banners all over our school gates to celebrate. We all need a pat on the back, recognition of our hard work, but I don't think the current way of how we celebrate the hard work is the right way for our education system. The fear narrative is very real. Until our inspection or accountability regime recognise that schools work in different contexts, then we're going to just generate this football manager type syndrome where the end of your teaching career is simply one inspection away. For the last six months I've been travelling and visiting schools, working with teachers, and for me it's very clear, particularly when an Ofsted inspection happens, it's a jump or swim situation. A recent report published by the University College London suggests what the impact of inspections are on teacher attrition. If a school is judged inadequate, about 4% of the profession within that school will leave compared to zero in a school that's graded outstanding. In my case, I have to go part-time as a deputy head teacher and work one day a week as teacher toolkit. Before the inspection, this was fine. After the inspection, that decision became untenable. Until we change the dialogue, I won't be signing up for headship anytime soon. I'm all for high accountability and I do think we should have a school inspection framework, but I do think we need to do two quick fixes. One, we need to change the Ofsted gradings. Two, most importantly, is Ofsted need to answer this simple question, do you accept schools work in different contexts? And if so, we then need to get to a place where we look at schools over maybe a three year period in terms of performance, and we also start to group schools within a family of similar schools and judge them against one another rather than what we currently have, which is a one size fits all for everyone and then you're penalised if you choose to work in a challenging school. Now I know I'm not alone. About 34,000 teachers chose to leave the profession last year. I would like by speaking out more teachers to come to me not just to share negative stories but the positive stories and you can do so through teachertoolkit.co.uk, download resources, connect with this video, connect with all the social media channels. So if you follow Teacher Toolkit on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I would love to hear from you.